Taylor, do you have a story to read? Yes. So this is the story that, uh, it, you know, so topics get suggested all the time on our subreddit, the r slash PKA. <clears throat> and usually they'll get like, you know, a few dozen upvotes. This one got like 500. And so I'm like, I'm reading this for the, for the good folks at home. Sit this right is, back and, the, and you'll hear the, a tale, the a first, tale of a homeless dick. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the first link I put there is to the story I'm going to read. The second one under where I wrote, do not show the following link, Woody, do not show it, the is fuck. don't show that. Those are pictures to go along with this story. It's the oh, same guy. All right. The fuck Let's, was that? I know, but here's some context for it. <laughs> so context. There's this is none. called... Uh, uh, Snacking on a homeless guy's anus. Uh, today I fucked up by snacking on a homeless yeah. guy's aner, anus. I was cruising for some ass last night. I get super horny on the weekend. It's kind of like I have a dark side that nobody sees. All week I'm nice to people at work. I'm really polite to my family and neighbors. But on the weekend, I want to be a dirty ass trash bag. It turns me on, so I go cruising for ass. I tend to get ass with truckers in the tr truck stop bathrooms, and then my favorite is after high-profile Christian events. I get a lot of Christian guys in the bathroom down to fuck. I got sick of scouting out public bathrooms and dark alleys, so I decided to try cruising the main streets. I'll make the symbol, see if anybody responds back. After a night of no luck, my boner was raging hard through my pants as I was just about to give up and go into the McDonald's bathroom to fap so I could ease... This guy's a terrible writer. <laughs> when I decided to walk up another street, looked less busy. I walked up the street and passed a homeless guy who winked at me and shook his cup. For some reason, that wink connected with my boner and it threw shreds of my moral compass out the damn window. I bent down to his level and pointed to my penis bulging through my pants. He nodded and said the location for the fuck. It was behind an abandoned commercial property. He seemed to have found a small shelter behind it that could be used, that used to be its store and sh shed maybe for old boxes or storage. Who knows? It was like this homeless guy knew every spot of the street by heart. <laughs> he looked pretty dirty. His face and hands were crusted with dirt and his nails were starting to harden yellow with the filth. They were pretty long. I shuddered as he ran them down my cheek and put one of his fingers in my mouth. The throbbing boner just got harder. I was finding it completely disgusting, yet so sexy. My mind was confused. The taste of sour gone off the taste of sour gone off bacon rose in my mouth as I tasted his finger. He pulled down my pants and started to suck on my penis. Mm. His mouth was like a black hole with about six rotted stumps of teeth. His tongue was fairly large as as he let it slide, I felt his teeth wobble as he went down fast on my penis. I could smell his saliva, and it smelled like blue cheese. I surprisingly didn't gag. It just reminded me of snacking on a cheese platter at the theater events that I am invited to attend. I started to moan with pleasure and push him playfully away from my penis. I was ready to taste his. I pulled down his trousers, or what was left of them, and he is now in his now yellowed underwear. I started to suck on his penis. I noticed there, was a, there were weeping sores on them, so I tried to be gentle. I didn't want any to burst in my mouth. The taste was like as if I bent down over a urinal and licked the rim. It wasn't great, but he was enjoying it. I spun him around and opened his ass cheeks. I started to lick his dried poop and dirt-crusted anus. With every pump of my penis and every jolt, a foul odor emanated from his ass. I started to feel the cum forcing its way down my penis into his asshole. I pulled out, and I see his and I seen his eyes were soft and warm beneath the filthy exterior. I started <clears throat> to feel sorry for him, so I asked, what does he enjoy? He told me, my ass eaten. He bent over, and I went to town on his ass. I ate his ass like a snack. He was moaning and letting out wet smacks from his mouth. I felt like my tongue was on fire, though. It wasn't a good sensation. He soon blasted cum all over the wall, and it dripped down his legs and thighs. He pulled his trousers right up over the mess. He then lifted his cup and shook it. I was then reminded that I fucked a desperate homeless guy. I gave him some ass eating because I felt sorry for him. I handed over $50, and his eyes lit up. He actually pulled me in for a hug and kissed my cheek. He actually said goodbye to me and that I was his favorite. I walked away stunned. I felt so warm and fuzzy inside from the hug and the sentiment, but yet so disgusted with myself for what I'd done. I had to walk really fast back to my vehicle. I was paranoid about the smell that was lingering on me. It was really foul. My car, car stunk up like a rotting roadkill. I could feel pieces of s silt in my mouth. Luckily, I only lived five minutes from town, so it was a quick journey home. I rushed inside and straight to the bathroom. There was a ring of brown and black around my mouth. My hands were stained yellow. I pulled off my clothes, and my penis was literally 50 shades of brown. I grabbed a toothbrush in my Colgate, and I stood in that warm, hot shower, brushing my teeth in it with roasting water. I could see the filth and dirt wash away in the water and down the drain. It's been just a couple hours since the filthy and shock is creeping. And that is PKA's cool-ass guy <laughs> oh, of Jesus. the week.
that was too much. I thought, and also and I, I didn't believe so it. That you know that's real. It's those not. Those are the pictures. Yes, it is. Those are the pictures. That same account linked to that. Look you at believe don't look those at them too pictures? Long. I believe them. He even had like a detailed description in that other thread about how he got nutty shit up in his dick hole and was trying to get it out. Mm. That's real, Woody. I, that's real. I, that's real degeneracy. And I don't, I don't know why it. you fucks wanted me to read that. That's, yeah, that's I, fucking horrible. Arian's that's better the, than this. That's the most <laughs> disgusting. That's the most disgusting thing to do of all time. To no. eat out a homeless man's shitty asshole. But that also takes determination. This guy, if he took a left, if he zigged when he should have zagged in life, what he could horrible, have been on SEAL Team 6. What horrible thing would you rather do than what this man just described? Like, what's, the like most just, horrible, what's the most horrible thing that you can think of that you would do rather than do what this man just described? I'd, I'd kill 600 puppies with a claw hammer. Oh, no I, I mean, not even, not even, I got no problem with that anyway. I mean, it, it, weekend comes around, what are you going to do? I'd puppies rather kill that homeless guy with a claw hammer. I'd kill the homeless guy with a claw hammer. If I could get away with it. Very tough. Can I just not there's, do it? There's, honestly, Kyle, name no. the most disgusting thing you can think of, and I don't think it matches this guy's real story. I don't um, think this guy, I don't think the story's real. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at pictures. all. Did you look at the pictures? There's pictures. Yes. There's poop all no, over his It didn't his even look like poop don't to me. Don't look at the photos. It's don't gr- look at the pictures. Don't yeah, it's, that's, it's really that's because gross. you have healthy poops. You've never had a homeless poop. Mm, no. That's right. No. <laughs> that's right. I mean, what would you rather do? Or what would, what would it take for you to choose this instead, Kyle? Like fucking your own dad? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, dad. Take one for the team. Look what I have to do otherwise. I can tell you for sure I'd rather fuck your dad than <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck your dad for sure rather than do that. This is an SNL skit on this. <laughs> I'd fuck all three of your dads. I mean, if we if we could find Arians it, 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 before I do that. I, I, FaceTime. 100%. I'm gonna FaceTime and we gonna fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a funny hopefully it'll be funny. I haven't read through it all yet. Uh post on Reddit that's kinda older and it says I found it on, I think you guys probably already know of this one, but it's called Jesus Christ Reddit, and it's like really inappropriate, like horrible things that yeah. you see there. Yeah. And so I was looking at that, uh, and this one's called Wife Told Me She Wanted to Experiment. I Obliged, Then She Attempted to Eat My Feces. And so let's, is that worth reading? Yes. Okay. Throwaway account because my wife follows my regular account here. My 28, or I'm 28, my 28M. Wife, 26F, I don't know how you're supposed to read that, and I have admittedly had very vanilla sex throughout our three-year marriage. We had our first kid a year ago, and it seriously slowed down our sex life. However, a little, over, a little under a month ago, she approached me about trying new things. She's been hanging out with a group of moms in our neighborhood, and one of them told her that she and her husband tried pegging, and it, was complete, and it had completely transformed their marriage. My wife told me that she wanted to try pegging as well to spice things up. At first, I thought it was a joke, but soon realized she actually wanted to peg me. I'd never done ass play before, and had always lived by the philosophy that the anus is solely an exit. My wife made it clear that this was important to her, so a few days later, I obliged. The next week, she pegged me, and everything was surprisingly enjoyable. Additionally, the week following, the pegging was one of the best weeks we've had together since the birth of our child. I really we thought were... he was going to say that his bowel movements were better than they were previously. <laughs> No, just, it was just the best week since the birth better of their than child. Father. Yeah. His first words, fine. Getting plowed in the ass by my wife with a plastic dick, tops. <laughs> we were back to our old sex life, doing things like having sex before work and even waking each other up with head. However, that next weekend, she told me she wanted to peg me again. I was slightly confused as to why this last week of sex wasn't cutting it for her, but I agreed. That's when things took an extreme turn. During the second pegging, while my wife was inside of me, she grabbed my hair, craned my neck to the right, and pressed our foreheads together. I had never seen her take control like this and thought it was very hot until she looked me in the eye and whispered, I want your shit. (laughs) I I pulled my face away and asked her to repeat, and she said, I want you to shit on me. I pushed her off of me and asked if she was joking, and she started crying. I felt like a fucking dick because she thought I was kink-shaming her. In a way, I was, because I thought that request was far too extreme. I ended up leaving for the night and stayed with one of my close friends, but didn't tell him what happened. After that incident, my wife and I hardly talked all week unless it related to our son. At the end of the week, I asked my wife to talk about what happened. She told me again that she wanted to shit on that what, she told me again she wanted me to shit on her and that it meant a lot to her. I thought it was sickening, but she claimed this was her deepest, darkest kink. 
I couldn't understand how and why she, my shit excited her, but she insisted that she's always wanted this. We fought about it for a week, and after watching some scat porn <laughs> and reading articles by people who also shared this kink, I tried to put myself in my wife's shoes. I told her that I will shit on her if that's what will turn her on. <laughs> she, was, she was so happy, and even though I was still completely nauseated by the desire, I wanted to satisfy her. That brings us to tonight. We were having sex for the first time this week when I regrettably confessed to her that I had to take shit. <laughs> she, she perked up with a smile, sensed my discomfort, and began stroking my hair and whispering encouraging things to me. I still really didn't want to go through with it, but since I had promised her, I pulled out and we ran to the bathroom. She got into the bathtub and I hung my ass over the side of the tub. <laughs> She got into the bathtub and I hung my ass over the side of the tub. I started pushing, but unsurprisingly found it very difficult to successfully shit on my wife. I turned my head around. I turned my head around to see my wife staring up and smiling at me, waiting for me to finish. With enough time, maker. I was finally able to get a turd to start coming out. I could hear my wife breathing heavier beneath me as my asshole started to open. However, before the turd was able to drop on her chest, I felt a sensation around my asshole. I turned and saw my wife, the love of my life, the mother of my son, attempting to catch the, my turd in her mouth as it fell out of my asshole. I was, horrified that, I was horrified that she would try to do this and tried to pull the shit back into my body so she couldn't receive it in her mouth. How selfish. Seeing what looked like an attempt by her to eat my shit brought me close to throwing up. As I clenched my butt cheeks together to try and stop the shit from reaching my wife, the clenching cut off a very small piece of shit. And I heard it land somewhere beneath me. I was too scared and disgusted to look at my <laughs> wife to see what she'd done with it. So I ran to the other bathroom to clean myself. As I was sitting in the other bathroom thinking about how I will ever be able to look in my wife in the eye again, I heard footsteps approaching. My wife lightly knocked on the door. I didn't respond and was on the verge of throwing up the more I thought about what had just happened. She walked away and I got a text from her thanking me for fulfilling her wish and asked me to come to bed. Oh, shit. Clicked on the wrong thing. She needs I've been sitting in the living room point. typing this. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sitting in the living room typing. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I clicked that. I've been sitting in the living room typing this for the for, for the last half hour, scared to face my wife. We have plans to take our son to the zoo with another family tomorrow, but I don't think I can look at her after what she just did. I feel deceived and violated by the woman I love and trust. During our initial conversations about this, there was never a question that my shit would go anywhere other than her chest. She knew how uncomfortable I was with this in the first place, yet she still tried to push the boundary that we had established. I would appreciate feedback from any blah, 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 blah. Don't care about that. So. All right. Let's give some advice to this guy. I, I, there were moments in this where I thought, hey, what am I going to say? Not everything you do is your favorite thing. But she's asking for a lot. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. That's wildly inappropriate. Especially if you've firmly agreed the shit will go no further than the chest and you turn around and see her gobbling on it. Look, I'm disgusted by the whole thing personally. Mm. But I'd oh, shit, I, I, I'd shit in her mouth. You know? You're just I would a be good worried lover, that Kyle. my a kind, I, that's not generous your lover. You know what yeah, my wife, whatever. I don't care who it is. But but I but I, I would want, I would be like, What do you want me to eat today? You know, like like I got a real hankering for Chipotle, but I don't think that's gonna make for a fun experience for you. Here's you know, the thing like in my head. Oatmeal. It's like if I poop in your mouth, we need to have a common understanding that I find your mouth unsexy for several days. Right? What? Like, oh, I come don't... on, little smart mouth. It, look, smart mouth combined. <laughs> <laughs> it's a binurdal. What is it? A bi what compound? A bi... A two liquid solution. Yeah. That allows you to shit in a woman's mouth and <clears throat> do it carefree because it kills all of the oral bacteria that will certainly... Be breathing fervently within. I hope they appreciate the second mouth. read we're doing. Can you imagine for what her breath smelled? Well, her breath probably smelled like shit. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. If I poop in her mouth, you got to like. I don't want to kiss you after sex. I might not want to kiss you tomorrow. I'm oh. totally on board with that. You're right. Like I, that would that dude poop is so fucking gross. Like implementing that at all into it's sex. It's about the grossest is, thing. It's revolting. I, it's the grossest thing. I yeah. I would prefer I. I would I'm drink swamp water of, first. The like, thing about blood, though, like, like I was about to say blood play, but like, I think I'd rather do poop than blood because there's something about like even being into because there's like harm that comes from that 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 has to transpire for their blood, blood is less gross, but the way that you get it is not okay. There's something wrong yeah. about the way you get it that we're doing harm and so much harm that we're breaking the skin 
to acquire the blood. What if Whereas it was pig's the, blood? What if you got it in like IV bags and did blood play? What are we going to do with it exactly? Like Just roll around in it? Spread around, slip and slide. God, I... That might be I, better than I, poop to me. I don't it's know. Not, it's not for me. No, I, 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 don't, I don't care for blood very much. I, I, I don't want poop on me. Okay, like, like, but I will poop on her if I have to. Because I, you're a generous I, lover, I really think that's where it's coming from. In it Kyle. absolutely is. Like, 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 I, I really don't want to. I, I, that's a private thing. I'm a little like, like, I don't want you to know when I'm pooping. I, like, like, this is one area where I agree with Howard Stern a hundred percent. He's like, my wife never knows when and if I shit. I have a private bathroom on the other side of the place. I go there. I do it. And I'm terrified while I'm in there that she might knock on the door and wonder what I'm doing in there. I don't want her to know that I do shit. And like, like I, I feel like, like that, that, that's... Oh, a- I have no problem with that. Like, I'll tell my girlfriend I gotta go take a shit. Well, that, that's not me. I'm closer I'm to rather- Kyle and Howard on this. No, no, it's yeah. not that level of care. secrecy. My wife and I describe it as keeping the magic alive. If there's something gross about you, I try to keep it from her. Yeah, you don't need to know that. Like, 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 like. Just Other like, people do it know, differently. If you have a yeast infection, maybe keep that to yourself. Just be like, not this, not today. You know, I don't need to know that there's yeast growing in your vagina and it smells bad today. Just be like, ah, today's not the day. Okay, then. See you later. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna delve further. In the same. You don't want. Way. You don't want to, to know. No, I don't. Like want not to. even in cute little language. Like, whoo, feel like I'm opening a brewery down there. No, like, no, <laughs> that would that would anger me. That would anger, anger me. I, you. They wouldn't we, anger we just use some euphemism, me. you know. <laughs> like my wife might say, what, "The office is closed for reconstruction." <laughs> that could mean the any number of things, yeah. but it, it means not now. I like He's Shark Week as a euphemism. Uh, it's, it's Shark Week. Uh, not happening. Not happening. Yeah. See the poop thing. Like now, would you ever? I don't. I, forgive me if I didn't catch it, Kyle. You're talking about being the generous lover, willing to shit on them. Oh no. What if they want to poop on you? Not on your mouth or your chest. Maybe oh. like they just want to like get one the top of one of your feet with shit. Your uh, bare feet. I'm so opposed to that. I'm so opposed to that. Right? Because like, I feel because, like because here's, not... I know how kinks work, right? She's going to poop on my foot, and then next week she's going to be like, let's poop on your knee. And then the week after that, she's going to want to <laughs> poop on my, uh, on my chest. And then the week after that, she's like, eat it all. Chew it. Open your mouth and show me. No, don't you close your mouth like a. It's a slippery gentleman. slope. Argument. Open your mouth like a sloppy boy. Yeah, you're my sloppy. Like a sloppy boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're my sloppy boy. Eat it up. And then the oh, week after dream. that, the week after that, my my elbows and knees have been have been tied together with saran wrap so that I can only walk on my my elbows and knees. And there's a trough like a pig's trough, and I'm wearing a pig mask. And I have a pigtail butt plug, and there's just a trough of shit <laughs> and that she's been saving all week. She's been refrigerating her poops and eating terribly so that she could create an entire trough of her feces that I have to eat. And she's pushing my head in it, and she's saying, you're my dirty boy. You're... Uh, I'm sorry. I, you're I, sloppy I regressed, boy. I regret that. has got a little PTSD <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah, uh, I love that. That's so fucking funny. You're my sloppy you're boy. You're my <laughs> sloppy boy. You're my sloppy little boy. <laughs> shovel, that, shovel that shit into your mouth, piggy. What, what are you closing your mouth and eating like a gentleman for? You're eating shit. Uh, what if that was their fetish that they want to poop on you and then mock you for how dirty you are <laughs> and be like, look at you, you covered in shit. This whole operation was your idea. Yeah. <laughs> this is your shit. <laughs> I didn't eat kimchi last night. Like, 